We're back with Blue Bullet. Supercharged Corvette Grand Sport on the Gunaseka, no less. Interesting track. Pretty hard, at least in some parts. Overall, a good track. I developed a much deeper appreciation for it after doing the endurance race that was 200 miles long with my C5R, so... This was back before I got that intimate knowledge of the track. Still a good race, though. <laughs> Shelby Series 1. I remember saying out of the way, fat ass. I mean, I, I can't believe the car took the turn as slowly as it did. I mean, Stockton, the car isn't that bad. It's certainly faster than this car in Stockton. But this thing's fully upgraded, supercharged, all that good stuff. So needless to say, I have a lot of fun with this. It's, it's still a pretty fair fight. I mean, the Viper is my biggest rival. But he, too, succumbs to Blue Bullet's performance in my driving. You'll see what I mean. I outcorner this guy time and time again. Viper, I'm coming for you. My God, I'm going through that thing so fast. I was in second gear throughout that little S-curve. It was a bit of a scary ride. I mean, I, I've not done that very often, but it's practice. Helps a lot. Time for a dirty overtake. Maybe? Nope. No. Oh, yep. I put him into the dirt. Yeah, that cost him about six seconds. And once I gain the lead, I don't lose it again. For one, it's easier to keep the gain, and also, I don't need to worry about other people getting me away when I take turns fast. Like this, right here. Look at that grip! I mean, this car will push two Gs in the, the really, really, really intense turns like that. Like the increasing radius turns. It'll normally do between 1.5 and 1.7. But if you push it real hard, you go up into the twos, which is incredible for a, tr a street car like this. This is one of many reasons why I love it. Brakes are really nice. I mean, look at that. I mean, it, the, this car is just so well set up. And the best part is, it only makes 520 horsepower and 572 foot-pounds of torque at the rear wheels. It's not that fast. It just corners like mad. Truly, it, it's an amazing car. Yeah, there we go. Nice and smooth. This turn here is a bitch. I don't like this one. It, it, it could just be a bit wider. The other turn that's annoying is the one that you come over the hill to do. That one's just, ugh. That's a very hard turn, and once you get used to it. And once once you hit your stride with this car and you get in the zone with it, I mean, you're guaranteed to do well. It's just a beautiful car. I love I can't get enough of it. Now, I know there's this one thing that's called, like, Thrill Cam or something. I'm gonna try doing that. Yeah, buddy! There we go. Like, these camera angles. Wow. That worked a lot better than I thought. <laughs> Come on, where's the, show me my cool that. I don't want to see these other idiots. They don't know how to drive. There we go. Oh, well, that was kind of fun. Love, love, love this car. Can't get enough of it. 
And hard on the brakes. See, you notice how the car, it dives forward a little bit when you hit the brakes? It's well controlled, though. It's not severe at all. Yeehaw! Victory for Chevrolet and the Corvette. Not that Viper. That guy's an asshole. He's like in fourth place. Don't pay attention to him.